So here's how this is working out. April 11th is the start of Star Wars Celebration. Okay. It's also the same date as Disney's Investor Day. Variety's digital editor Todd Spangler took to Twitter earlier this week to report that Disney is planning to demo its new streaming service at its Investor Day, quote, including first look at some of the original content for that streaming service. And it just so happens this event falls on the date of April 11th. So that is interesting uh, for a few reasons. One, because uh, it is a fair assumption that we will that one of these projects they're talking about is the Mandalorian because it's been slated as one of the first projects mm -hmm. to be on the streaming service when it drops, along with the final season of the Clone Wars. Uh, there was also an Entertainment Weekly piece that dropped recently as well, saying that um, that would that verified uh, that point. It's that the premiere of the show will coincide with the launch of the streaming service. So Jesse, April eleventh to get some Mandalorian action, or at least by the end of Star Wars Celebration, it seems like a real possibility if this video is going to be made present to the investors. What do you think? Um, definitely. The only thing, I don't know if we'll see it, we'll see it mm -hmm. on the 11th, because since that's, it's kind of like opening ceremony day for Celebration. Uh, from what I understand, there's not a lot going on. That first day. Yeah, Wednesday is kind of like, just like, hey, like, do you want to check out what's on the floor? Um, so, I mean, it'd be great. That'd be really cool because I think I think we we're all planning on heading up Thursday morning, if I recall correctly. But um, I'm excited for it. And I mean, again, we're, we're probably going to get teased for that. We're going to get a teaser for Episode Nine, you know, probably for sure of some kind, you know, at Celebration. So I'm looking forward to it, and I'm excited to see what other things that they bring to this this streaming service. That you know, sounds to me like the Mandalorian is going to get better marketing than Solo did. Well, it definitely not, not, seems not, that way. Not that that's too hard. Well, is it a thing, though, because we're seeing Lucasfilm and Disney with the Star Wars product, all focus is going to streaming. Um, everything is going to TV. I mean, we're seeing this with news of Star Wars Resistance already being renewed for a second season. We know that we're investing in Clone Wars, uh, Mandalorian, Cassian Endor, going to the streaming as well. And we have not heard anything in a long time about Benioff and Y series of movies and we expect that right we know that they're not starring on their they're not starting on their Star Wars until April after the beginning of the final season of Game of Thrones nothing about uh, Ryan Johnson's trilogy hope it's canceled we no <laughs> what was that what <laughs> I, I think I heard a bird fly over um, you know so I'm, I'm fascinated will we get some information on those two projects I'm not sure but it looks like right now Lucasfilm Disney wants every Star Wars fans attention to migrate from the big screen to their streaming device. I think it's interesting. Uh, George Lucas was one time quoted as in saying something along the lines of um, he was uh, he was unhappy with like the state of like movies and theaters. How it was beginning to cost too much money mm -hmm. and everything, and that he actually felt like um, like the series, you know, like you know, the, you know, Band of Brothers, Game mm -hmm. of Thrones, was actually going to end up being like the future of like. And I, film and storytelling. I'm 100 behind that. 100. Um, and it's so it's, it's interesting, interesting to see Disney, you know, they're bringing the service and they're kicking it off with the you know the Mandalorian mm -hmm. and everything. Um, so I'm excited to see basically that live action. You know, I don't know, ten hours <laughs> worth. Well, of that's story, the thing, you know? and, and we still don't have the details as far as like the length of the episode, but we know that the ep there's ten episodes that are made. But now what I'm confused about. What I'm confused about is, and if anyone in the live chat knows this, there's a rumor that it's a limited series. Like, it's not like a season one that can be picked up for a season two. Like, there's a rumor that it's just going to be like this. Ooh. And I'm like, there, there's no way. No, with as much hype as they're putting into this, I mean, Pedro Pascal, I mean, all, all the A-list team that they had working on this. And you think about who they have behind the camera on yeah. several of these episodes. Mm -hmm. Bryce Dallas Howard. And well, Dave Filoni's doing the first episode. Mm -hmm. You're going to have Taika Atiti. Who did Thor Ragnarok? Yep. You're gonna get that is gonna that that's just gonna be. I, I mean, can't, I can't I mean, fathom here, here's that. Thing. If it's good, Disney's not gonna say, "Whoa, we're gonna stop this cash cow." That just that's not Disney's. MO. That's like making the best flavor uh -huh. of ice cream ever known to mankind, and it's uh, like a two day special, and you're never gonna see it again. Now, I could see them putting out something every other year mm -hmm. uh, with this show. I could see them having this really star studded who's who of Hollywood directing mm -hmm. and writing the first season, and then maybe the second season go to a more traditional writer's room putting the show together for continuing seasons. Thank you for watching Beyond the Blast Doors. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. Beyond the Blast Doors, a Star Wars conversation.